And this is my picture that we took uh, a couple years ago uh, when we went out to fish with a friend. Okay, um, first we're going to think about the compositions. Uh, so first I'm going to draw really loosely. And this is the area for the boat. And then draw a couple lines to see whether or not you still like it uh, when you get a little bit more details. Um, and then there's the horizon line, it's right here. And have a little kind of landscape in the background over here. And this is the, the bow. I think still like it. And doesn't have much refraction because the water moving uh, too much so that it doesn't have the, like uh, the boat on a lake. It's different from the boat in the ocean. Okay, now I have that here. And I'll try to keep a couple birds uh, over here. So I'm going to have a bird maybe over here in the water. I'm going to make it a little bigger um, than it was like this. And maybe a little bird over here, um, the wing coming up, and a little. So those things, are uh, those bird space, I need to leave it white. So I'm going to so draw a little area that I'm going to keep it white. So it's making sure I'm not going to kill those white space and a little bit of white over here too. And the bird, there's a bird over the sky over here. I like to keep that one, okay, like this. Another bird over here, I want to keep that. Uh, so a different variety of shape of bird. So I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to keep one over here, like that. And maybe one over here that simple bird. And what about here? I want to keep one over here. This white space. Okay. Okay, maybe one. Okay, not this this kind of directions. That. Okay, I think this is good. Maybe I'm gonna draw a couple black uh, line for the birds later. I try to keep it random. I don't want it to be look like uh, they all line up together. Maybe one over here if we ever like. Uh, I need to get that. Okay, this is good. So I know I'm going to keep this white too. Uh, the shape over here is white. And the bow, it's called the fishing boat here. Uh, keep those area white. And areas here white. So I don't really care about the, the part that is going to be darker um, because those are going to draw on top of the color, whatever color that I put on. Um, that is very interesting. There's another bird over here. So I'm going to keep that white too. Okay, like that. And have some dark color here. I think we're ready. We're going to start getting the blue colors in here. Um, it's have a little red color, more like a, a purplish color uh, in the sky. Uh, so I'm going to get a little kind of red-ish color. And it's from the top, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little lighter and lighter, maybe get down to the bottom. So as you know, when the watercolor dry and the color get lighter, Okay, so don't worry. I'm gonna start in right here. Gonna keep. Guess what? That bird can go. <laughs> Leave a little white. Try to and keep going. Going. The other way to, to have a little bit white that if you can use the masking fluid to mask those areas first and it would be easier as you paint. You just paint it all over. But again the sky doesn't have to be really flat so it's fine. 
So we're gonna look at a bird, and I know this bird only have the body white, and the the wings actually not white. So I don't need to worry about that. Uh, that a little bit white for the for the wing. Okay, over here. Mm hmm. Okay, where it's gonna go? Simple as that. And of course, it's like every fishing boat they're different, so you don't need to worry about it. It's just like, oh, the fishing boat is going to be located like on clear or somehow. I know this is the white area, white area here. Okay, the wing. And this one only have the body, a little white. I can ping it around. And like that. Okay. I'm going to keep that going. So I'm going to actually going to paint it again, the sky. Keep it going like this. Like I said, only the body is white for this one. I'm gonna leave the body white. Okay, here. So on top here, I can paint it a couple more times. And the sky right here, I think I need a little more colors. Here we go. Come back here. Get the color a little bit darker. Also, could create the illusion of the crowd and the sky in the crowd. That's fine. Okay. Okay, here. Yeah. And actually, this can go. Mm hmm. Okay, the paper is still wet, so the color can merge together pretty well. Okay, now the sky is good. And now, what we're going, going to do, I'm going to start going down to uh, to the ocean. And the ocean have a little bit more blue color, so I'm going to just use this blue. I'm going to get it going here. And I have a, let's see, only the body is white. Okay, this little white at the body. Okay, starting here. Let's see, there's a little white over here. Okay, oh, I almost got rid of all the white. And so I have a little water here, a little white. I'm gonna keep that. We have not finished first run yet. We're gonna start getting the colors to cover everything. Okay, more color. I want to be deeper colors. Okay, here we go. Okay, a bit deeper colors, darker, especially close to here. Okay, here we go. You keep a little white if you want. Okay. So now we finish cover. I think cover everything except the boat. So what we're going to do with the boat, I'm going to start putting some color into. So I'm going to use a little, a little uh, smaller brush. I'm going to get the yellow colors. You know, the yellow colors mixed with the blue colors. That is green colors. You want the colors not so bright, and you might want to add a little red colors into the colors. Is that simple? Right? So good. We'll get a little more. A little bit more yellow colors, okay, but add a little blue, oh no, a little red, okay, here we go. I want that colors. So I'm gonna start, I know the color is gonna get fuzzy and again there will be blue outside, but it will be fine, okay. We're not that fuzzy, okay. okay. Like this, starting. Okay, getting a little color. Keep mixing colors. Mixing the colors and starting over here. Some warm color, the wood colors, as you're showing off. And we're gonna come back to fix the shape. But at this point, let's, I think we need to let go of some of the accumulated colors. Here, I want to fix that. 
first before you go too far. So I'm gonna actually come in here. Okay, again. Got that texture. We don't want like this. Okay, that is fine. I'm gonna disturb some of the texture over here. The technique of scratch. Scratch to create the dark line. <coughs> okay, we're gonna do it like here. Okay. Many, many lines. If you just scratch it on the really wet paper, it, it actually create darker line. If it already dried, you cannot make any effect at all. Okay, and that way for those lines, they're actually getting darker. That's just the color coming back to the, to the areas. What we're going to do now, we're going to do the, the far away landscape. With the red colors, I'm here like this. Now we're going to do some of the, looks like suggesting. Doesn't have to be, okay? Like when they leave the gap, look like a, the house in the distance. Texture. And even the color here, nice. Look like the land. Okay, it's the, the power of suggestions. It's called we suggest it. And if you see it, that's great. If you don't see it, that's fine. Okay. We have a little red color, so make it a little neutral. That's good. <coughs> Two. Like this, so we have something over there. 